G'day and welcome to Ben's Works. On this week's episode, I'm going to make some shift knobs with a Halloween theme. Most of you probably saw the video I posted earlier this week about my workshop incident. And I know I said in that video that this week's project was going to be the stabilization project. But to be honest, I just didn't feel like continuing on with that video right now. So I thought what better to do with Halloween coming up? Let's make some shift knobs. So I went down to my local cheap shop and I found these cool little skulls. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to make four of these. I'm going to keep one for myself and I'm going to give three of them away. I'll explain more on how you can win towards the end of the video, but for now, I need to look at how I can jazz these up a bit. So I've picked out three different colour shifting flakes. I picked out the purple green, the orange yellow and the yellow green. And I'm going to leave one of these skulls plain, just so it looks a bit more realistic. But before I do that, I need to give them a little tidy up. You can see here they've got some tags on them from the moulding process. Then I'm going to spray them black and then we can apply the flake. While the skulls are outside drying, I thought we'd make a start on our base layer. Now I've picked out a range of colours here that should complement our colour shifting colours. For the yellow green, I've chosen Spring Green Magic Pearl. For the purple green, Shimmer Magic Purple. The orange yellow, Magic Orange Pearl. And for the one that we're not painting, I thought a good contrast would just be Satin Silver Black. The moulds I'll be using are just some plastic cups, so I'm going to fill these with some art cast, add my pigment and leave them to set. Make sure we're mixing your resin, you scrape down your sides and your bottom because you don't want any unmixed resin otherwise you'll create soft spots. So I've decided to make a last minute change. With the black and the orange, I've decided that when it starts to thicken up a little bit, I'm gonna pour some black into the orange and vice versa, orange into the black, mix it together and hopefully we'll get a cool effect. Okay, so I'm not gonna to go too crazy. I'm just gonna pour a bit into the black. Now the same with the orange. Now I'll just give it a quick mix and leave it. While that resin's left to cure, I'm gonna get started on the skulls. Now before I put any flake on, I'm just gonna brush on some of this tacket. I've never used this before, but I wanted to give it a go. Normally when I put my flake on, I mix it with UV resin and paint it on, but I want to try one of those makeup applicators and try and rub it on. But to do that, you need a tacky surface. So for the first one, we're going to try the purple green flake. This is the applicator I was talking about. I think it's got something to do with makeup. Well, wow, that actually works quite well. Look how tacky it is. Stuck to my finger. 
How cool is that? That actually turned out quite nice. Now let's give the yellow green a go. Looks like it has a bit of blue in it too. Not bad. And lastly, we're going to use the orange yellow. Wow, I like that one too. That's really nice. If you guys want to try any of these for yourself, I'll leave a link to all these in the description. Well, I've got to admit, these turned out way better than I expected. Now before I go casting these, I want to add one more detail. I'm going to add some glow-in-the-dark pigment to some UV resin and fill in the eyes. So our coloured bases are all cured now, so the next thing I need to do is glue down my skulls, pour some clear over the top, and then pop it in the pressure pot. While they're in the pot curing, I need to add some fresh stickers to the pot. I've had a few turn up. I've got one from Steph from Creations STG. I've got these awesome ones from AB Arts. And lastly, we've got Gareth from GD Wood Turning. Wow, these things turned out bloody unreal. I can't believe how good they look. Now the next thing I need to do is take these out of the cups and turn them on the lathe. Now for these three, which are the three that I'll be giving away, I don't want to put any holes in the bottom because just in case the people who win them don't actually want to use them as shift knobs, they might want to use them as draw pulls or door knobs or even just paperweights. But the one I'm keeping for myself, I will drill a hole and tap a thread and show you guys how to do that, just in case whoever does win one of these wants to use it as a shift knob. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the middle, and then I'm going to punch a little hole. The reason I've done that is so that when I put the drill bit on and I start drilling, it won't wander off. Now the size of this hole will be different for most people, because most manufacturers have different size threads, so make sure you look up what size your car is. Now the same thing applies when tapping your thread. Because every model has a different pitch thread, make sure you get the right one that suits your car. Now when tapping your thread, just go nice and easy. There's no need to rush. I like to go down a few turns and then come back out just to clear it out a little bit. 
Now because we are tapping plastic, there's no real need to use a cutting fluid. Just make sure, like I said, take your time and just keep clearing it out. Then once you've hit the bottom, I like to just pull it out. Give it a quick clean and then just run it back through a couple of times. And there you have it, some nice clean threads. Now if you are going to put this on your car, I would recommend a couple of drops of thread locker just to make sure it doesn't come loose. So like I said before, I won't be putting holes in these, so to turn these ones on the lathe, I'll just glue them to some waste blocks. But for the one that we tap the thread, I'll be able to use this mandrel. Turning, sanding and polishing is going to be the same process on all four of these. So I think what we might do is I'll take the purple one and we'll follow the journey on this one. Pretty happy with that, it's a nice looking shape, feels good in the hand. Next step, sanding. One of the most common questions I get asked is why do I swap lathes to sand? And the answer is I paid a lot of money for my big lathe, whereas this one's a bit of a cheaper model, and you can see here by all the mess that I make when I wet sand, I just didn't want to have water around my expensive lathe. Before I show you these awesome shift knobs, I mentioned earlier on in this video that I'll be giving three of them away. Now all you have to do to enter is two things. The first one, be a subscriber, and number two, leave a comment down below and let me know what colour was your favourite. Was it the purple? Was it the green? Or was it the orange? And in two weeks time, I'm going to pick three random comments and send you a shift knob. Now let's check them out. So you guys might be wondering, where's the one he made for himself? Well I did change my mind, and it's now a bottle opener. Now 
I know I'm going to get asked this question a lot, so I did make an extra one, and it is now in the Etsy store. I nearly forgot, I haven't shown you the glowing eyes. Well that's all for this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out the Etsy store if you want to buy some shift knobs. Also you might notice this video has been uploaded a bit earlier than normal. That's because YouTube recommended to me that most of you guys are online a bit earlier. So for me it's 4am so I'm probably still asleep. But don't worry, as soon as I get up I'll start answering your comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.